Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Lee Lee is the transferred use of an Old English surname derived from place names. In Old English, the word Lea stood for a clearing or an open space where villages and towns could be established, such as a wood clearing or meadow in a forested area. There is a town called the Lee in Buckinghamshire and a small hamlet in Hampshire known as Lee, as well as other places in England called Lea. The surname would have been given to people who were native to these towns and then moved away, their surname becoming an identifier in their new location. The first written appearance of this surname emerged in the 12th century, rendered as de la Lea. Alternately, from the perspective of the sailing terms leeward or a lee, the word lee developed from the Old English leo meaning shelter, protection, possibly from an Old Germanic root element meaning warmth. When you consider the leeward position on any water vessel you're essentially talking about the side of the ship slash boat away and protected from the weather or wind. Finally, Lee is sometimes considered a transliteration of the Hebrew, which is a term of endearment, meaning mine. In the United States, Lee has a history of gender neutrality, but it is primarily considered a masculine name. It is currently on the top 100 list of most commonly used baby boy names in Ireland. Personality of the boy name Lee The number four personality is marked by stability and discipline. This is the personality that follows the rules and is conservative by nature. They have an earthbound energy that prefers to build things methodically on top of firm foundations, they don't cut corners. Fours take their time and don't like to be hurried. But the outcome of their endeavors is likely to result in some strong and useful structure, which makes them great engineers and inventors. Fours are anything but frivolous or controversial. This is a trustworthy, straightforward personality that embodies dedication and organization. They are the backbone and anchor in their relationships, careers, and communities. They are tidy, punctual, and full of integrity. Hard work comes naturally to a four, and they are immensely reliable. This is the personality you can always count on. Popularity of the boy named Lee in the United States, the name Lee started out as a given name in honor of the Confederate Army Commander Robert E. Lee, 1807-1870. We must assume Lee was a name at first embraced by dissenting Southerners when the tragedy of the Civil War was still fresh in the minds of Americans. General Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant on April 9, 1965, pretty much sealed the fate for the South and promised victory for the Union. During the late 19th century, Lee became quite popular as a given name for boys, but it was also used with impressive frequency on baby girls as well. Despite Robert E. Lee's symbolism as the lost cause of the Confederacy, he was still admired by Northerners for his tactical genius and military leadership. The name basically took on a life of its own and remained unisex in nature for well over 100 years, the name went out of circulation for girls only recently in 1990. Just to give you some perspective, Lee was the 39th most commonly used masculine name at the turn of the 20th century, 1900. For boys, Lee maintained top 100 status all the way up until 1956 and remained a moderate favorite up until the 1990s. In the past 20 plus years however, Lee has quickly dropped from fashionable usage. Simple, three letters and one syllable, parents today find the minimalistic Lee a little too basic and boring. Lee has often replaced Lee for girls, or it's used as a middle name instead, Annabelle Lee, Bobby Lee, Jamie Lee, etc. Even though Lee is primarily considered masculine by today's standards, this one is still up for grabs. Quick facts on Lee. Gender, boy. Origin, English. Number of syllables, 1. Ranking popularity, 668. Pronunciation, Lee. Simple meaning, clearing, shelter, or mine. Characteristics of Lee. Practical, industrious, studious, solid, dependable, conservative, hardworking. Cultural references to the baby name, Lee. Popular songs on Lee. 
A song by Seals and Crofts, a song by Foghat, a song by Blondie, a song by Maurice Chevalier, Melody Lee, a song by Johnny Cash, Lee and Molly, a song by All Girl Summer Fun Band, a song by Sonic Youth, Murphy Lee, God Bless Robert E. Lee, a song by Joan Baez, Annabelle Lee, I'm Sorry, But So Is Brenda Lee, is a bebop jazz standard, a song by Youngstown, a song by Waylon Jennings, a song by Harry Belafonte, a sing by Sid Barrett, Jerry Garcia, Swan Lee, Silas Lang, a song by Marshall Crenshaw, Miss Annabelle Lee, Beautiful Annabelle Lee, Ruby Jean and Billy Lee, The Ballad of Frankie Lee and Judas Priest, Jason Lee, Jamie Lee, Sarah Lee, a song by Rick Nelson, Donna Lee, Annabelle Lee, a song by Ziggy Marley, Shirley Lee, a song by The Damned, Lee is Free, Under the Gun, for Jeffrey Lee Pierce, a song by Murphy Lee. Famous people named Lee. Lee Merriweather, actress, Lee Trevino, golfer, Lee Van Cleef, actor, Lee Jansen, golfer, Lee Majors, actor, Lee DeWise, American Idol winner, Lee Remick, actress, Lee Iacocca, businessman, Lee Harvey Oswald, assassin of JFK, Lee Strasberg, famous acting teacher, Lee Westwood, golfer, Lee and Womack, musician, Lee Marvin, actor, Lee Ranaldo, musician, Lee Smith, baseball player. Historic figures with the name Lee. Harper Lee is an important American figure by virtue of her publication of A Euroido, Kill a Mockingbird a Euro in 1960, which won the Pulitzer Prize. Her contribution to American literature would eventually win her the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award in 2007. Harper grew up in Alabama and modeled the Buka Euro S heroine, Scout Finch, after herself. She was the daughter of a small town, respected attorney, and she herself was a precocious tomboy. The novel deals with 10-year-old Scuduro's observations of racial injustice as her father defends a black man wrongly accused of raping a white woman. Her innate, innocent belief in the goodness of human nature is sorely tested as she and her family end up on the receiving end of this hatred. She emerges triumphantly in the end with a more adult perspective on the existence of evil while still keeping her sense of goodness intact. Needs no introduction, no explanation, no biography, no commentary a euro she simply is. Born July 28, 1929, she died on May 19, 1994, and lived an amazing life in those 64 years. Born to privileged wealth with old-world credentials, she was both a debutante and a a euro a working girl a euro of the 50s. She married into more wealth and brought a needed polish and class to the Kennedy clan. As First Lady, she reintroduced a style and grace to the White House that had been sadly lacking, and she restored the manse to its historical splendor as a symbol of pride for all Americans. She and President Kennedy symbolized youth and energy, and with their adorable children, became our very own a Euro or Royal Familia Euro in the most democratic of ways. After all too short a reign, Mrs. Kennedy held a grieving nation together during the dark days of the assassination and its aftermath, through the example of her own quiet dignity. She had practically achieved sainthood. Then oops a euro she went and married a little old Greek billionaire oil tycoon with shadowy credentials, and a shocked populist side a euro a euro a what? A euro an international jet-set lifestyle followed during which time it seemed she spent whatever spare time she had from the yachts and private planes into Fanny Euro S. Nonetheless, we still hung on her every whispery word and clamored for more and more pictures and stories offered up by a willing paparazzi. This avid attention continued into her later years, when she settled down in New York with her companion and concentrated on her publishing career, civic causes, and her family. Probably the most famous woman of the last century, she was one of a kind a Euro iconic, intelligent, elegant, and yet aloof enough to remain a mystery in the glare of the spotlight. By our feminist standards today, she may have seemed a little too much in the a Euro stand by your man a Euro mold, but there is no doubt that she made her own indelible mark on the world.